everybody and welcome back to the MMA Training Bible Step-by-Step Guide to Goal Setting. I'm Dr. Jason Gillis. Just a little recap here. So we've covered off part one, we're all done that, and now we're on to part two, and right now we're on session six, but let's just recap. So in part one, we focused on identifying where you're at, and we talked about your fighter's mindset, you know, why you fight, and then we profiled your performance in, in the areas of MMA skills, in the areas of your physical fitness and in the areas of your psychological skills. So we took a snapshot of where you are right now using these really great tools, these performance profiles, which are often used in sports psychology. In part two, it's all about identifying where we are now and then more importantly, identifying where we wanna go. We wanna be able to set compelling goals. And we started that process in the last video, in session five. And Primarily, we talked about setting amazing career goals, setting unstoppable career goals, dreaming big, and we took you through a, a five-step process for setting those compelling goals. And all we wanna do in this session is apply the exact same process. I'm gonna walk you through this interactive workshop, except now in this session, in session six, we're going to be focusing on setting unstoppable and unshakable psychological skill goals. We wanna make sure that you're totally pumped, totally controlled, and totally ready to get in and fight whoever you want, whenever you want. So this is it, this is session six, planning for unshakable psychological skills. So the big thing that I wanna do here, the big learning objective for you is I just wanna follow the five step goal setting process for developing unstoppable, unshakable psychological skills. We're gonna take you through the same five-step process for creating these compelling goals and creating this compelling future. So let's just recap the different steps. The first step is brainstorming everything that you want to achieve in the first one to 20 years. And then we put timelines for achieving all those goals. And then we identify your top three objectives in the next year. And then you visualize what it would be like to achieve those goals. And really importantly, you visualize what it would be like not to achieve those goals. So when we do this, when we take you through this process, hopefully we'll get you associated with those goals and you'll get motivated, you get pumped, and you'll, you'll be excited to go and train every day because you know why you're doing it. And having the reason, it's really, really important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start now. So what you need to do is you need to bring up the document that we've been working through. So again, you can download that at the edges of the screen, but you really should have this document and it should be a working document for you by now. And what we're looking at here is part two uh, exercises. And we started off with how to create a compelling future in MMA and specifically we focused on career goals in the last session. We went through step one, so you should have a whole lot of information uh, already written here. And what we wanna do in this session is bring up this document again, and we're gonna be starting by looking at psychological goals. And, and the first step here uh, uh, is, uh, is looking at step one, brainstorming everything that you'd like to do, that you'd like to achieve in your career uh, in the next one to 20 years. Okay, so let's get into it. So again, for the first step, you're gonna be brainstorming all of the psychological skills or mental abilities that you'd like to have as an MMA fighter. Remember, this is an interactive workshop, so keep this video playing while you write and don't stop writing. No matter what, don't self-censor yourself. You want to assess everything that you've written down later on. Okay, I want you to think about now the psychological skills that you'd like to have in training and competition. Just let your mind run wild. Have a think, what is it for you? Maybe you wanna be a confident fighter no matter the situation. Have a think, what is it for you? Maybe you want to improve your visualization skills. Sports psychologist Rob Gilbert, he said that losers visualize the penalties of failure and winners visualize the rewards of success. So what are you gonna do? Who are you gonna be? What else do you want to achieve in the area of mental abilities or psychological skills? Maybe you want to develop your adherence to training. Maybe you're not getting to training as regularly as you want and you want to make sure that you're getting there more often. What are some characteristics? What are some traits that you'd like to develop? Maybe you want to develop a never give up attitude. Maybe you want to work on your determination. Maybe you want to work on your willpower. What is it for you? 
How do you want to feel when you're competing in the cage? Maybe you want to be confident and calm, or maybe you're too aggressive, or, or maybe you're not aggressive enough. What is it for you? How are you going to handle defeat, and how are you going to handle setback? Is it going to crush you, or will you learn from it and grow stronger? Arnold Schwarzenegger, he said that strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strength, and when you go through hardship and decide not to surrender, that is strength. What is it for you? Keep on writing stuff down. What are some fears that you'd like to conquer? A lot of fighters, they worry about gas and now. Are you going to conquer this fear? What are you going to do to conquer that fear? You're going to improve your physical preparation is one thing you can do. You can check out the MMA Training Bible's Guide to Building Unstoppable Endurance. Maybe you want to improve your ability to execute an actual tactic or game plan. Maybe you want to become more aware in the cage. Maybe you want to learn to concentrate better. Maybe you want, uh, maybe you get distracted easily and you want to make sure that you're not going to get distracted by the fans or people booing you. Maybe you need to learn to be more aggressive in training or maybe you need to be less aggressive. I don't know what it is for you. Just keep on writing stuff down. Keep on thinking about these things. Keep on writing, we're going to go just a little bit longer. Keep on thinking, what is it for you? How do you want to conduct yourself each day? How, are you, how do you want to treat yourself? How do you want to treat your training partners? And how do you want to treat your coach? What kind of a fighter, what kind of an athlete do you want to be? Do you want to be a role model for others? Do you want to be the tough guy around the gym? Do you want to be the guy that's always helping everyone out? Do you want to be the guy who's laughing and joking? What is it for you? Now, I don't know what you want to achieve, but give it some thought. If you need more time, you can pause the video, uh, but we're going to go on to step two now. And so if you do need more time, pause that video, uh, else we're going to move on. Okay, let's scroll down here. You should be on step two. For step two, I want you to go back through your list and identify the most important psychological skills that you want to cultivate and set a timeline for their achievement. Now, you may be thinking, oh, this is stupid. I don't need to worry about all the psychological stuff. But remember, you can't attain the best physical condition without being in peak mental condition. So pause the video and go back up to step one and then put a timeline for achieving all of these goals that you've just mentioned, whether it's one or three or five or 10 or 20 years. So go and timeline it right now. Put a year on it. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you've completed step two. What we wanna do now is we wanna go on to, to step three. So you should have a big list with a whole bunch of psychological goals and each one with a time frame for their achievement. So for step three, what, we want you, what, what, what I want you to do is I want you to go back through the list and select the top three one-year goals that would really get you excited if you were to achieve them. Now, if you haven't come up with at least three of these one-year goals, then go back and repeat step one with this specifically in mind. Okay, so pause the video now and go back and select the top three one-year goals that would get you totally excited in the area of psychological skills. So pause the video now and do this. Okay, moving on to step four. I want you to look at each of these one-year goals and visualize what would happen if you achieved them. How would your life change for the better? How would this affect your family? How would this affect your training partners? Or how would this affect your coach? Where would you be at in your MMA career if you achieved all these goals? Imagine being calm, imagine being focused and relaxed no matter how your opponent presses you. Any situation. How would this affect the people around you? Your coach. How would it affect your training partners? And how would it affect your whole gym? Martin Luther King, he said that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Imagine yourself being mentally strong enough to bounce back from anything that could ever happen in the cage. So pause the video now and complete step four. Now let's move on to step five. 
I want you to imagine what would happen if you didn't develop these psychological skills. Maybe instead of having the will to get back up after being knocked down, you stay down. Maybe you fear losing and that prevented you from taking the risks that could have won you the fight. Muhammad Ali, he said that he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Imagine the opportunities that you'd miss if you didn't reach these goals. How would this affect your coach? How would it affect your training partners? How would you feel in a year's time knowing that you could have achieved so much, but you didn't? I want you to pause the video now if you need more time uh, and get associated with what would happen if you didn't achieve these goals. Okay, so now you should have three compelling one-year goals for developing the psychological skills that will help you reach your full potential as a fighter. So that's it for this lecture. I just want to recap what we did. We went through five steps. Step number one, we brainstormed everything that you want to achieve and do in the next one to 20 years in terms of psychological skill development. And then we timelined it. We set one, three, five, 10, and 20 years. And then in step three, we identified the top three one-year goals that would get us most excited. Step four, visualize achieving it. And step five, you visualized not achieving it. And this is the really important procedure. So please, if you didn't give each of these steps their full attention, go back and do it again. Here's the references as always. You can read up uh, for further information if you want. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to move on to consider physical fitness and physical conditioning and set some really compelling goals in that area. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.